Kim Kardashian has always been a magnet for scandals. But the latest allegations against her are far more serious, sparking a wildfire of debate across the internet. This time, Kim is facing charges of neglecting her children, with many claiming she prioritizes her fame and fortune over her responsibilities as a mother. Over the years, Kim has carefully crafted an image of herself as a devoted, hands-on mother. She's shared snippets of her life, showing how she manages her children's daily routines, from making breakfast to school drop-offs, all while juggling her high-profile career. Fans admired her seemingly superhuman ability to balance everything on her own. However, recent revelations have shattered this image. It's now known that Kim employs a team of nannies, a fact she has gone to great lengths to keep hidden from the public. One of these nannies recently spilled some tea, revealing that they are not even allowed to appear on camera during the filming of Kim's reality show. This is done to maintain the illusion that Kim is handling everything herself. But the truth is, Kim reportedly spends over $100,000 on nannies, including hiring a male nanny, a controversial move that sparked rumors she was trying to replace the father figure in her children's lives. Kim defended this choice, saying it's essential to have a male presence during a child's early development. Yet her own daughter North's reaction, biting a nanny to get her to leave, paints a picture of a child desperate for attention. Kanye West has not remained silent. He's accused Kim of creating an isolated environment for their kids, keeping them away from him, and using them as props for her Instagram feed. Kanye's claims go further, suggesting that Kim is more interested in her online persona than in her children's well-being. He's even gone so far as to file a report with Child Protective Services, arguing that Kim's reliance on nannies and her self-absorption make her unfit to care for their children. These issues are compounded by North's own words. She's openly expressed discomfort with the media exposure her mother subjects her to and has shown a clear preference for Kanye's simpler, more private lifestyle. North has been vocal about her frustrations, even mocking Kim's behaviors publicly. Yet, while Kim brushes off her daughter's actions as funny, many fans see them as a cry for help. Kanye's fight for custody is heating up, fueled by his belief that the kids are better off with him. He's made his case through social media, legal channels, and even in his music. In his song Easy, Kanye raps, I got love for the nannies, but real family is better hinting at the fractured family dynamics within the Kardashian household. This situation has led to a fierce debate online. While some fans rally behind Kanye, urging him to take full custody, others defend Kim, suggesting she simply needs to realign her priorities. But this isn't just about Kim and Kanye, it's about the future of their children. With both parents caught up in their own dramas, the kids risk becoming collateral damage. As the custody battle looms, it's clear that the only real solution is for Kim and Kanye to find common ground for the sake of their children, but whether they can put their egos aside remains to be seen. What do you think? Should Kanye have full custody or should they co-parent? Let us know your thoughts in the comments.